I have been exploring Blazor for a few years now. There are many beginner tutorials about Blazor on this YouTube channel. I also have built internal applications, but I never made them look great. It finally made me look for a user interface library for Blazor applications that comes with predefined, great looking and easy to use components and controls. And let me tell you, there are more projects than I could believe. There are so many options that I'm yet to decide. However, it's the perfect time to record an overview of all the available free and open source user interface libraries for Blazor development. Let's start this list with a blast. Redson is a company, but their component library with the same name is open source and free for commercial use. The component library offers more than 70 native Blazor UI controls. With more than 3 million downloads and more than 2000 stars on GitHub, it's fair to say the Redson Blazor component library is well known and widely used. The component library ranges from simple input fields to more advanced components such as a feature-rich data grid and a scheduler. Redson also offers a professional license as a paid subscription including premium themes, additional tooling and most importantly 24-hour dedicated customer support. It makes Redson a great choice for individual developers and companies. Blazorize is developed by Megabit and offers more than 80 modern native UI controls for Blazor. Blazorize stands out with its support for multiple CSS frameworks. We can use Bootstrap, Tailwind, Material, Ant Design, or Bulma. Blazorize offers everything you'd expect from a user interface controls library. Like Redson, Blazorize is free and open source, but offers paid subscriptions, including professional support. Blazorize is a few hundred dollars cheaper than Redson. However, be aware of the dual licensing of Blazorize. You can use Blazorize for private projects, non-profit organizations and small businesses. But you must purchase a commercial license for $1 million per year or more in gross revenue or with more than 5 employees. Read more about its license on their GitHub page. Blazor sounds almost the same as Blazorized but is completely different. Blazor is mainly developed by Chris Sainty, Microsoft MVP, speaker, author of Blazor in Action and well known for other massive contributions to the Blazor community. There are also a few packages within the Blazor organization on GitHub that other developers maintain. Blazor has a package for every component, making it very simple to include only pieces to the application you need. Blazor is developed by the community and doesn't have an associated business entity. The number of components is limited to 15. It includes a package to access the local storage and to show toast notifications or model dialogues to name a few. The controls are genuinely open source and free to use. There is no commercial license or commercial support. Matt Blazor was one of the first Blazor UI controls libraries for Blazor. It currently has around 30 controls and lives under the GitHub account of Vladimir Samolenko, better known for his social handle at Samprov. Matt Blazor has been actively developed from 2018 to 2021. There was a break in new versions from 2021 until April 2023. Matt Blazor was very early and is now a widely adopted community project primarily led by Samprov. Today it accumulated over 1.4 million downloads. Similar to Blazor, Matt Blazor is community driven, free and open source and doesn't offer a commercial license or professional support. Matt Blazor is a material design component library for Blazor. Its focus is ease of use and clear structure. The goal is to free the developer from writing JavaScript or CSS. 
Using the Mud Blazor components, you do not need to know or use CSS, even though you can if you need it. Mud Blazor contains more than 50 controls and comes with theming support. With more than 5000 stars on GitHub, Mud Blazor is one of the most popular control libraries for Blazor. There are more than 200 different contributors listed on GitHub, even though Johnny Larson and Meinrad Rekheis authored most of the commits. The Microsoft Fluent UI Blazor Components library allows us to build applications with the look and feel of modern Microsoft applications. Some components are wrappers around Microsoft's official Fluent UI web components. Others leverage Fluent UI design systems but are natively implemented. There are many components available and they really look like Microsoft applications. If that's something that is important to you, Microsoft Fluent UI is probably the way to go. I have to admit that with around 1300 stars on GitHub and about 450,000 downloads, this library is way more popular than I assumed. It's an active project with more than 20 contributors, with a Microsoft employee leading the charge. Ant Design Blazor is a set of UI components based on Ant Design and Blazor. The Ant Group is a Chinese subsidiary of the Alibaba Group that created its own design system. I'm neither an expert in user interface design nor design systems, so it's hard to judge the difference between those design systems for me. However, Ant Design Blazor has its own look and has almost 5000 stars on GitHub, as well as 700,000 downloads on NuGet, and comes with an MIT license. Blazor Strap makes Bootstrap components available as Blazor components. Instead of using the Bootstrap CSS classes that come with the default Blazor templates, Blazor Strap makes them available as components. It's a much more convenient and maintainable approach for me. The library is in active development and supports the latest Bootstrap 5 version and, as far as I can tell, all Bootstrap components are available as Blazor components. With over 700,000 downloads and 800 stars on GitHub, this library is also a very popular choice for developers using Bootstrap as their CSS framework. There are probably more community-led user interface control libraries for Blazor than I could find in my research. I included all actively developed projects I could find. If your favorite user interface controls library isn't included, feel free to post it in the comments to give it some credit. I purposely didn't include any paid products in this video. First of all, this video isn't sponsored and second, I wanted to spread the message for community-led projects that don't have an advertising budget like those companies have. What user interface component library you choose depends on many factors. For example, depending on the application type you build, you might need a different set of user interface controls. Also, do you need professional support or is a community-driven project the right choice for you? Some libraries offer many components but come with a bigger package size. Others have fewer components but faster loading times. It's best to try a few libraries to get a feel for them and compare the options that fit your use case the best. In the end, you'll have to make a decision and go with that choice. I wouldn't advise to have multiple user interface control libraries within the same application. First of all, they could interfere with each other and second, they will bloat your application. However, no rule without exception. Maybe your use case is a prime example of when combining two different user interface libraries is the best idea to get the best out of both. Whatever you choose, there are so many high quality options for Blazor development. What is your favorite user interface library for Blazor development? Let me know in the comments below and tell me why you favorite over other options. See you in the next video.